Let's go to Senator John Brasso on this, the uh, Wyoming Republican, the Senate GOP conference chairman. Uh, Senator, what did you think of what the energy minister was saying there? If that wasn't the reason for cutting production, he did seem to lay out the fallout that it would have, that it, it, it weakens the United States doing so. Well, that's exactly what the energy minister of Saudi Arabia said, that the pain was going to get worse here in the United States. <laughs> Neil, for almost two years, American families had been feeling the pain, the biting pain of high prices at the gas station, at the grocery store. And when this administrator says it's going to get worse, this is a self-inflicted wound upon ourselves, Neil. They understand that affordable energy is the lifeblood of a family and of a nation. And what we have done to ourselves is now held ourselves hostage by Saudi Arabia because we have such radical energy policies when the answer is right here in America. It's right under our nose. It's right here in Wyoming where I am. We have affordable, available, reliable energy. Yet the Democrats, every Democrat in the House, the White House and the Senate will not let us use it. We need to change the American energy policy to an American first energy policy, not be dependent on Saudi Arabia or anyone else for that energy. We need to get back to energy independence. We have now, it here. I, I know where you're coming from on that, Senator. And obviously, uh, you know, the, the president and his message on, you know, stopping domestic production to the degree he has or making it more difficult did lead to this. But the Saudis are interesting in themselves. They are clearly screwing us with this decision. They know that. Uh, whatever your views of the president, well, they're going after America in a way that is not going to help the West, not going to help our country, very akin to the embargoes they led in the 70s. The last one almost drove them out of business. With friends like that, who needs enemies, right? Well, the, the, the Saudi energy minister is the brother of the crown prince. Understood. So he speaks with authority. And I talked about he 10 days ago. Happy. He seems very happy hmm? and, and content with sticking it to us, right? And I talked about 10 days ago to the uh, ambassador from Saudi Arabia to the United States, specifically about this decision to cut a million barrels a day production. And the ambassador confirmed to me that the position of the United States, both our national security advisor and our secretary of treasury, Janet Yellen, was to continue to beg and plead that they don't make the announcement that they were going to do that cut until after November. Look, a strong president would never allow this to happen. A strong president would say, Sa I know we're not going to be held to the Saudis still did it. it the Saudis still did it. And I understand what you're saying about the president potentially botching it and begging for them not to do so. They did it anyway. But in zinging the president, they zinged all of us. Who needs friends like that, right? Well, we've had a relationship, a strategic relationship with Saudi Arabia, 15 presidents, seven kings going back and over 80 years. It's a, it's a security a relationship they just related cut to oil Iran. To us, two million barrels a day. We don't need their oil, and we need to make it clear that we're energy independent in this country. We have the energy here, Neil, and All the right. president's actions have been to draw down on the strategic petroleum reserve which is what that minister was talking about. He's drawn it down to the level, the lowest level in 40 years. We're going to need to replace that at some point. But the president is so focused on the upcoming election and his terrible poll numbers that he does. See, he seems to be willing to put our national security aside. Well, but no, what's clear to me, Senator, is he's putting, he's putting his prices, own interest ahead of our countries, right? He's putting his, whatever you say to the president, he is sticking it to us and enjoying it and relishing it. Whatever you think about Joe Biden, the Saudi kingdom is saying to the United States that has helped them time and again dealing with Houthi rebels from Iran and all of that. He is saying to us, we don't care about that. We're going to stick you against the wall, whether you like it or not. That's some. How do you do, huh? The strongest nation in the world should never find themselves in a position where you can get stuck against the world. This is a strategic mistake by All the right. president and the Democrats who put their environmental agenda above the security and the well-being of the American people. And that's why that's why the Republicans are surging in the polls. And, Neil, I'm very optimistic about our opportunity to take back we the House, say. take back the Senate, and then I'd be the chairman of the Energy Committee, and we would focus on affordable energy and American energy and independence. And not depending on guys like that, to your point. Senator, thank you so much. Very good seeing you. Uh, Senator Barrasso on all of that.